It's a pleasure to have you right here on GTV Sports Plus. And I bring you the Plus News. My name is Emmanuel Edujan Fee. For today, we're talking about all the major highlights in sports. For our first story, The finals of the men's division of the Tennis Super Cup tournament was between Samuel Inki and Johnson Aqua. It was a repeat of the inaugural finale. In that contest, Aqua won. It was therefore a repeat or revenge in the second edition of the competition. Despite a downpour and reshuttling of the final from Saturday to Sunday, the two were focused. Entry, who defeated Raymond Amar and Chafet Pegabase in the quarterfinal and semifinals, was more composed. He snatched the trophy from his arch rival and second seed Johnson Aqua in a straight set of 6 1 6 0. For his effort, Ainge received the bigger cash prize of 5,000 CDs, a trophy for his effort. He described the encounter as sweet revenge. Last year we were 16 players and then I lost to John Sinakwa on the center court. and I, I, It really got into me, but then I congratulated him because he played well last year. So this year I, I decided to work harder on my mistake, my mistakes, my weaknesses and then my errors. And I decided to get, get things right and then uh, this time around the table stand and then I, I, here I am with a trophy. I'm very, very happy. I'll go and write exams at Ken University and then we prepare for Gusa Games. That's November. And I'm sure I'll, I'll be meeting Johnson and Coach since they're also in uh, Winneba, in KNUS. So that, that's the way forward now. The headline sponsor of the Tennis Super Cup, Translife Sula, says they will do more to support tennis in the country. For now, we are happy that we're seeing a lot of display of high level tennis being played in Ghana and we're nurturing it so we can take it far international. And uh, we're here to stay. The 2022 edition of the Tennis Super Cup Tournament was organized by Ultimega Solutions under the auspices of the Ghana Tennis Federation, the Tennis Foundation Ghana, with Translight Solar as the headline sponsor. Paradise Park Mineral Water, Holad Insurance and Stambic Bank were the partners. <laughs> Now from tennis, let's do some stories on volleyball. The Awana International Sports Academy has presented 45 volleyballs to the Greater Accra Volleyball Association for onward distribution to outstanding second cycle schools who distinguished themselves in the just-ended inter-schools volleyball competition in the region. Other volleyball clubs in the region also received some volleyballs and some kits. The Greater Accra Volleyball Association partnership with Awana Club and International Sports Academy seeks to support the regional association by providing them with volleyballs, volleyball nets, kits, among others for the next five years. According to the association, this will help the development of the game at the grassroots. Eight senior high schools, which include Osu Salem SHS, Odogono SHS, Temasco, St. Thomas Aquinas SHS, Accra High, regional clubs such as Elwak Wings Volleyball Club, Tema City Amingos, Emmanuel Presbyterian Church Volleyball Team Medina, Osu Youth and La Pauniers also benefited from the gesture at the Accra Sports Stadium. The head, Awana Clubs, Reverend Joseph Jebi, said the Awana is ever ready to support volleyball at the grassroots. We found that the Volleyball Association was doing a great job, but they have a lot more um, older youth. They were not targeting the younger youth, so we felt that we could come alongside them and help them to bring these younger talents in. 
The head of the International Sports Academy, Reverend Rick Rowland, said the platform is an avenue to develop new talents. So we've partnered with Awana. Awana is quite large in Ghana. It's all over Africa and very large in Ghana. And so we're very excited to partner with them because then what they're doing and what we're doing come together. And then what we do is we work with, like in this case, the Greater Accra Volleyball Association. The Greater Accra Volleyball Chairman, Dr. Edward Owusu, said such moves will help the development of volleyball in the region. It is our hope and it's one of our vision to revamp volleyball okay, at the second preschool level. The representatives of the various schools expressed their gratitude to the regional association, Awana Clubs and International Sports Academy for the support and promised to put it to good use. Let's do some more local stories here. And Precious Nunana Oko from the Ho Tennis Club is the first female tennis player to win the Translight Solar Super Cup trophy. She beat Yvonne Bros Kujo by 6-4, 6-4. The Translight Solar Cup Women's Final was a matchup between Precious Nuna Naoko from the Ho Tennis Club and Yvonne Bruce Tego from the Stadium Tennis Club. Precious Nunana defeated Yaira Kumasi 6-0-6-1, whilst number one seed Yvonne Bruce Tego defeated Laurentia Agogobia 6-0-6-3 in the quarterfinal stage. They again progressed to the semifinals after number one seed Yvonne sent Na Macaulay Parkin with 6-4-6-0 win. Precious Nunana upset number two seed Annette Bushank 1-6-6-2-6-2. The final was key. Precious was more composed as she forced Yvonne to commit some unforced errors. The two sold out some good tennis artistry, much to the delight of the enthusiastic fans. Precious cruised to a 6-4, 6-4 win to lift the Super Cup trophy for the first time. She described the final game as tough, but said there is more room for improvement. In the semi-finals, I played the Ghana number one seed, ladies. It wasn't really easy for me, but with God, I sailed through easily. In the finals, too, I was from the beginning. I was actually tense because I knew I knew very well she's a very good player, one of the best female players in Ghana. So I would like to thank God also for giving me this big victory. This is not the end, actually. I'm going back to train harder and then um, get ready for the next tournament, which is in line. I would say today wasn't my day because comparing to the other matches that I played, this actually was my worst game ever. Um, after sitting in the house for the past seven months, this is my first tournament this year, so I would say, I mean, I've done well getting to the final, so I'll get back there and, you know, get my fitness together and everything together. The organizer of the Translight Solar Tennis Super Cup, Ulti Mega Solutions, described this year's edition as good. They promised a bigger and better event in the third year. We had over 65 registrations from the men. Every single professional, able professional in Ghana, registered for this tournament. We also had all the women, only four of the top women were not available for this tournament because they are playing outside. But we had a surprise winner who is somebody who is not necessarily a professional but has been able to lift her level to the point where she can compete with the professionals and come out on top. So it gave us all the angles of tennis. For finishing second, Yvonne Bruce Tego received an undisclosed amount of money. Precious Nuna Naoko received the prize money of 5,000 CDs and... Many times, ladies, the first woman to win the ladies' version of the Class Light Super Cup. Of Now let's do women's football right now as the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League will kick starts on the weekend of October 7th to the 10th across the northern and the southern sectors. Defending champions and Pimdakwa ladies will begin their title defense at home against northern ladies in Tichman in the northern zone. 
top of the liner in the southern zone is the game between Giants, Hazakas Ladies and Berry Ladies at the Jendu Park in second day. Fate Ladies will be present in their debut season after finishing second in the southern zone will look to fight for a spot at the top of the table this time when they begin their season away at Ajumaku against soccer intellectuals. Newly promoted sides, Esiam Socrates and Rich City will compete in the southern zone whilst Candy Soccer Academy and Tamale Super Ladies play in the Northern Zone. Kumasi Sports Academy and FC Savannah were relegated in the Northern Zone last season. We see Lions and Immigration Ladies relegated from the Southern Zone. On your screens, uh, briefly, will be the match day one fixtures. There you have it. Pelpia Ladies are facing off with Prisons Ladies at the Ali Umama Stadium in Tamale. Tamale Super Ladies are playing against Ashton Ladies at the Alaji Ali Umama Stadium also. And Pemdakwa Ladies face off with Northern Ladies at the Ohenamia Park at Techiman. Supreme Ladies will be at the Bantama Astro Turf against Candy Soccer Academy. Fabulous Ladies will also play at the Bantama Astro Turf against Dreams Ladies. These are fixtures in the Northern Zone. Now, the Southern Zone fixtures on your screens right now. Race City. Are playing against Siam Socrates Ladies at the Madina Astro Turf. Hazakes Ladies against Berry Ladies at the Jendu Park in Second Day. Thunder Queens against Police Ladies at the Legon Presec Park. Soccer Intellectuals are facing off with Fate Ladies at the Swedro Stadium. And Lady Strikers are playing against Army Ladies at the Robert Mensah Stadium in Cape Coast. Ghana Football Association's Disciplinary Committee has imposed a fine of 8,000 Ghana cities on Legon cities after being found guilty on three counts of misconduct in their best power Premier League match they won against Miriamma Sporting Club at the Elwak Stadium here in Accra. Additionally, the club will pay an amount of 2,000 Ghana cities to referee Charles Bulu for the replacement of his car ties. A player of the club, Michael Ampadu, has also been handed a five-match ban in addition to the mandatory suspension he is to serve for receiving a red card in the match. The disciplinary committee, which was chaired by Vice Chairperson Carlo Olimpio, also handed a 10-match to an official of the club after being found guilty of acting in an unsporting and intimidating way towards match officials on the day of the match. Meanwhile, the GFA Disciplinary Committee has sent enforcement decisions to three clubs on outstanding debt to players and other clubs. The three clubs are Diana Football Club, Vision FC and Tema Youth. We do more local stories and Electroland Ghana will award three individuals for the outstanding performances in the 2021-22 Ghana Premier League season. After helping his team to lift the season, uh, the title last season, former Santa Cruz striker Frank Bella Etuga has been recognized as the most outstanding player last season. Former Santa Cruz head coach Prosper Natogum, who guided the Porcupine Warriors to a record 24th league title triumph, also emerged as the best coach of last season. Ash Gold forward Yawano will also be awarded for emerging as a top scorer for last season with a total of 22 goals in 30 games. Electro Langana will soon announce a date for the presentation of awards to the three individuals. Kindly brought to you by MaxMed Prostate Capsules. It is effective for prostate support, urine retention, frequency of urine, and weak erection. MaxMed Prostate Capsules gives you the edge and stronger erection. For bulk purchases and details, contact 0558 093 This is the Plus News. We we'll take a very short break. When we are back, we'll continue with the foreign stories. The Plus News is kindly brought to you by MaxMed Prostacare Capsules. It is very effective for prostate support. It is also good for urine retention and frequency of urine and weak erection. MaxMed Prostacare Capsules gives you the edge and stronger erection. For both purchases, kindly contact 0558-093-123. And that's a wrap of the Plus News right here. My name is Emmanuel Edujemfi. Many thanks to you for watching.